So we got a very interesting leak regarding Metroid Prime 4 that could give us a little bit of an insight of just kind of the scope of this game. Maybe that's why it's been taking so, so long. Welcome back, friends, to another video here on the channel. If you guys are new around here, we do a variety of Nintendo-based content. We uh, do Nintendo news, walkthroughs, guides, gameplays, live streams, you name it, we got it. If it's Nintendo, it goes here. I'm a huge Nintendo fan. And if you guys are too, then you're already in the right place. Stick around for more. You can also check out the links down in the description below for all their socials, you know, Twitter, Discord, all that good stuff. We have a community Discord as well as streaming over on Kick uh, a lot and a non-Nintendo gaming channel. Anyways, it's a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this. We're not going to waste any time. This one's coming from Gaming Bolt. As per usual, you know, this is not from Nintendo. So take it obviously with a grain of salt in the sense that it could be false, but it seems to have some credibility behind it uh, from what uh, people are saying. So throw it up on the screen right now, and this is what the report reads. It says, again, from Gaming Bolt, it's been over four and a half years since Nintendo announced Metroid Prime 4's development had been rebooted, and they go on to saying, you know, what retro, uh, sorry, retro studios uh, taking over the project and things like that. Uh, we've heard absolutely nothing about the game. There's been a lot of different stuff. And then there's also leaks claiming that Nintendo is preparing to launch a new console in the second half of 2024. Uh, and so there's a lot of questions about, you know, Metroid Prime 4 status, uh, when it's going to launch, if it's going to be a Switch game, or is it going to be, you know, maybe the game coming out on the next console? And there's a few other things so uh, that, that, that came out. So, you know, obviously we don't know uh, anything official from Nintendo, but uh, nonetheless, Xbox era co-founder uh, co Nick Baker recently spoke about Metroid Prime 4 on the Xbox era podcast and offered some brief new details, uh, it says, coming from someone uh, he knows who supposedly gotten eyes on the game. Now, again, keep in mind, keyword supposedly, okay? This could be false, but... If it's true, it'll be very interesting. It says, in addition to the game looking visually unbelievable, so I guess it must look absolutely epic. Uh, I mean, Metroid Prime Remastered looked pretty good in my opinion, so I can only imagine, you know, a, a fresh game from the ground up. Um, said source also claims that Metroid Prime 4 will also feature big, massive areas. Baker says that though he doesn't believe the game is going to be open world, it will have significantly larger areas than previous titles in the series. According to Baker, the person seeing the game in action apparently said that the size of the environments reminded them of Halo Infinite's big and open environments, though Halo Infinite really was open world, of course. So I guess the idea is big in that sense, but not open worlds. It's going to be, it's going to be, you know, it's, they're going to have the big, large areas. Uh, again, keep in mind, this is not official, but if it is true, uh, it'll be a lot bigger. I mean, obviously, you know, with Metroid Prime, you know, we seen a little bit of that uh you know with with the first prime uh, trilogy um and how you know you have some kind of tighter corridors and you have other areas where they're a little bit more open a little bit more uh larger in scale not massive but i guess they're kind of taking that you know uh, uh formula and expanding it even bigger right i guess that's the idea if again if this is true obviously um which would could be a good thing um obviously it depends right some you know it's very easy to get lost if you don't know what you're doing in, in a metroid game uh which i guess is part of the you know the fun of it is, is discoverability and just kind of a, you know the adventure and figuring out what to do but my, i guess my concern that i i might have personally speaking is that if it's too big then you know what, what is, is that going to make it a little bit too 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 overwhelming you know what i mean um, you, they would have to really strike a, a balance. And again, not every game has to be massive and have these huge, huge areas, you know, like, um, for me personally speaking, one of my favorite games of all time is Twilight Princess. I think they did it great. You have some bigger open areas that you can kind of explore a little bit, but that's not so big that you're getting overwhelmed. Speaking of Twilight Princess, we really got to replay that again soon. Maybe we'll do like a multi-stream on Kick and on YouTube, or I've already played it a hundred times on YouTube, maybe just on Kick. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, nonetheless, you know, something like that might be good. You know, a little bit bigger, but not overwhelmingly so. But either way, let me know what you hope to see from Metroid Prime 4. Eventually, it's got to get it revealed officially, right? We got we got to see it. Will it be on the Switch? Will it at this point be on the next iteration of Nintendo's hardware? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Stick around and find out. Whenever we we do find out, I'll let you know here on the channel. So stick around. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys soon. Another one. Tell them friends. Game on. And thanks for watching.